calling somebody over for no reason. They're trying to make some money for the town. Watching her, she did nothing wrong. The thing is, could they say they did something in the town? It's two hundred dollars extra for the town. Gonna make some tax money. <laughs> see, he just said, I wanted to see what was going on. That there is painful. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, no, Adam wrote me a ticket for five hundred dollars. Who did? Adam. For, what for? Uh, I'm just no, what'd you was, get pulled over for? Because I backed up to get to my ATM. You backed up, so I he pulled did. you. Yes, he did. You backed up, so he he pulled you over. Yes, he did. Why? Adam's, Why? Adam's doing his job. But backing up? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Bye. Man. This cop pulled her over because she backed up at the ATM. That's what they're good for. Garbage. Garbage. Just pure garbage. The girl backs up at the ATM so she can get her card in and that cop pulls her over. For no reason. They got her ID. Pitiful. Beautiful. Beautiful. What's next? That's Saltville for you. It's not a ghost town. Check it out. That's what the mayor said. It's a ghost town. They try to make money for no reason. There's the bank right there. She went a little too far, so she had to back up to get her card in. She pulls out, and he pulls her over right here for no crime and takes her ID. That's pitiful. There he is again, that guy. That's bad. Terrible. We have cops like that in Saltville that'll pull you over for no reason. Now he's going to turn in here. Where is he going? Oh, he didn't come in here. He's going back over to the bank to see if anybody else backs up. So if you go to a bank in Saltville, be sure you don't back up so you can get your card in there or he'll pull you over. See, he's parked there waiting beside the bank to see if anybody pulls in. Nothing better to do but sit there and make sure nobody backs up. That's just sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh, we almost dropped the phone. Uh oh, he's watching the bank. Hope it's yeah. There it is. He's gonna sit there and wait for somebody to pull up the bank. <sighs> Look at him. That's what we pay for in Saltville.
for nothing. Every cop out here in this small town has their own police car that they, they drive around for personal use. They go out of town, they take that police car because the citizens pay for the gas so they don't have to. Let's see what's wrong with this bank. Oh, look, it's out of order. That's why she backed up. She was trying to get her money, but she couldn't. So this guy pulls her over. Let's see if we can get his name. Hey, how you doing? Good, uh, What's your name? Adam. Adam? Boardwine. Board okay. Just wondering if anybody else backed up at the ATM or not, or... I mean, are you going to pull somebody over if they back up at the ATM to see what's going on? Who backed up at the ATM? Huh? Who backed up at the ATM? Well, the girl just now told me she, she didn't did. back up at the ATM. She just now told me she did. She backed up right here in the roadway. Oh, was that bad? It's against the law, yeah. Why? Turn around? It's not illegal to turn around. It's illegal to back your car in reverse on the road. Why? It's dangerous. What law is that? Backing in the roadway? That's not the law. Yes, it is. What's the penal code or what is the law that would do that? No, I'm just wondering. So other people don't do that. Like if you're driving up that way and you missed your turn, you can't back up. So you ever take uh, this police car to like Marion to the wellness center? Why do you ask? Well, I've got pictures of salt with police cars there where they would work out. Okay. Huh? Okay. Do you think that's okay? Yeah. Who pays for the gas to go there? Town. The taxpayers? You think it's okay for y'all to drive for personal use and let the taxpayers pay for your gas? Do you know why we do that? So you can drive and you don't drive your personal vehicle, that's why. That, well, on my way to the gym, mm -hmm. I stop by the courthouse and the sheriff's office, drop off documents that have to be taken to the sheriff's office. Okay. What about the code enforcer taking his car down to Chill Howie to visit his wife? I'm not in charge of the code enforcer. Well, he's got a police car like yours. I don't know what he does. Y'all got, how come y'all have to take all the cars home with you? what we do. Everybody does. I mean, they're $90,000 a piece. This isn't a $90,000 car. I, I did a FOIA request. I know how much they cost. It's $90,000. Huh? This car's like thirty grand. No, it ain't. Not with all these add-ons, all these decals, stuff it's like that. I did a FOIA request and got it. Maybe multiple of them. Uh, one, nine, one. Yeah. But how come there's like two police officers on duty, but there's seven or eight police cars, and they just parked in somebody's driveway? You got county that stays here. You got state that stays here. So I'm just wondering, why do y'all have to take cars home with you? Everybody else that has a job, see, they'll drive their car to work. They'll work. And they'll, they'll drive their personal car home. I think a lot of it is because if there's ever an emergency and we need right. to be called out. See, emergency in a town like this, the only one that should do that is the chief of police. Because you've got two or three cops on duty, plus you've got county that come through here more than Saltville police does. I wouldn't say that. Some of them live in town. There's like three or 
three deputies that live over here. Yeah, true. Uh, and seven, they have they have county cars here. There's really not that many deputies over here. There's three that live here. Okay, there's three. Yeah. The first emergency, they'll come. If there's an emergency in the town of Sawville, the town of Sawville will respond before the county because it's our jurisdiction. Well, here's one. The uh, cargo, the gas station. Yeah. It got it got robbed. Yeah. It's in the same parking lot as the police station, Salt Lake Police Station. It's not in the same parking lot. They're side by side. They yeah. share. The first cops that showed up was county. It took 20 minutes for Salt Lake to show up. Well, a lot of different reasons that could happen. With them right beside each other? Well, where am I at right now? Am you're, I at the police station? No, All you're right. sitting. How long would it take you to get from here to, to the gas station? It just depends. I mean, probably minutes. three to three but minutes. It just depends three or four where that minutes. Was. You realize we could be at the jail? have an arrest we could be at the hospital on an eco a tdo you know there's a lot of different variables mr huff that come into that They're, they could delay a response there's only one of us out here at a time yeah there's not for me there is right now i work by myself yeah all night the yeah. only people i got are the county and show howie right but there's only one saw we're working right now right and when that robbery happened happened to be when the football game was going on we're Saw the police cars were there. I can't remember. I do. I remember it. Was I it talked daytime? To was it Little League football it, game? No, it was a high school game. Okay. I wasn't working that day. Oh. Yeah, they was two saw the cops. But anyway, I was just wondering because a small town like this, we cannot afford to have a a dog park. We cannot, can't afford to have our tennis courts put back. Yeah. We can't. All these shelters been torn down. And people wonder why people don't go to Saltville. The mayor went on TV and said this is not a ghost town. It is a ghost town. Did you that. grow up here in the 70s, 80s, and 90s? I grew up here from uh, in the 2000s. And I've been here my whole life. Do, do you remember Friday, Saturday nights? It took you 15 minutes to drive a quarter of nah, a mile. that was before my time. Well, that was when we were not a ghost town. Yeah. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, you walk through town and there's tumbleweeds going through the ground, the town. I mean, that's a ghost town. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with oil, right? No, because we got the salt plant up there. Well, yeah, but the job, there's not nearly as many jobs at the salt plant as there was oil. Well, the money, not the money, much money, what it is, is the money where it's allocated. Like a half a million dollars for the police department? Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, if you y'all bought Y'all bought riot, riot gear. We don't have riot gear. Yeah, you do. You bought well, it. We really don't. It's how much you want to bet? The I, only thing that you we got it out of the COVID would, funds. The only thing that I have right now that I would consider riot gear, yeah. and it's not riot gear, is a gas mask. No, they out of the COVID funds, eleven thousand dollars went towards riot gear. I have for the police that. department. I got it. I got sheet at home. It's online too. I don't have any riot. I mean, you didn't allocate that money, but that's how I'm saying money is misspent, right? I don't have anything to do with money. You live in town, right? I live in town, yeah. How do you feel about that? I mean, I support the police department. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you support the town? I support the town, but the town has to have police. Like you got 11 o'clock where you got to leave leave the parking lots. You Would you rather to. see a kid parked in a parking lot or a kid driving around well, where he could be killed? The only time that the kids get kicked off the parking lot is when they're out there doing stupid stuff. No, it says 11 o'clock. Yeah, but we don't all... That's not always enforced. It can be on anybody. Why do they have that? The only when's time, when's the, only the last time, time you had a curfew? Was you like 12? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The only time anybody gets... That ever happens usually with the youngest that you're talking about. Yeah. Is when they're out there littering and doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. Littering's bad. Yeah, it's bad. When you go out there and there's glass all over yeah. the parking lot, you've seen it, I'm sure. Yeah, I've seen it a lot. That's the only time that they're kicked off the lot. I, I agree. Know. I, I used what, to go how, out there. How do you said, personally, I, know, I don't know if you can do personally while you're working. I'll tell uh, you what I personally think. Okay. Uh, if I can. The ponds out there where you fish? Yeah. How come they don't leave the gates open so people can camp out there? They have been open. I've been, there's been people over there fishing all can the time. They, can they camp out there? I let them camp out there. I mean, would the town let them camp out there? Is I've never something? heard anybody say they can't. I've never heard anything though. Yeah, I've yeah. let them camp over there. Because a lot of people, people like in. to take their families and do something in town. Yeah, there was somebody camping over there 
last week. I know, I know you're not going to like this, but the town hired a code enforcer. Okay. Okay. Now, he drives a car like this one. I think he's part-time, whatever. But instead of hiring a activity director, they right. hired a code enforcer. Now, what's going to bring more people into town? I mean, I don't know what an activity director would do. They they schedule things like bands at the here. Yeah. They schedule uh, soapbox derbies, three on three dodgeball, three on three basketball, yeah. to bring people's into town. Yeah, that's what their job is. Okay. The job the code enforcer is doing right now, you could do. You ride by, you see something bad, you let the town know. They send them a certified letter. Yeah. So instead of, I mean, if you got a mercy on. No, I mean. To make sense, you want people in town. Right. You want activities for people. Oh, yeah, I mean, I agree with that, yeah. Now, that's what I'm asking myself. Why did the, the council hire him to do a job that can already be done by you and the manager instead of hiring a, a activity director? That's their job is to bring people into town with activities. You understand? Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I understand it. Yeah. Uh, do you? I mean, I don't know if he could say anything because he's I, a code code enforcer. I mean, I the code enforcer. I get, I don't really keep up with his work. I work night shift, so he's gone by the time I come on. Or I come. Well, he works. spends most of his time at the funeral home and in Chihuahua where his wife works. Oh, see, I don't. I don't know. I, I track him. Uh, I, so, but anyway, uh, that don't that don't concern you. I, what I was talking about is, you know, you want to bring families into town, right? Chihuahua has a band every other weekend. Do they? You not have you been there? Mm -hmm. Every other weekend at their stage, they have a huge band, concessions, all that. Yeah, it brings people into town. Right. Ours, we spend a lot of money. It's yeah. never used. Well, they do. They do use it sometimes. They there was a it. band out here this last Saturday. Yeah, they use it the, like Fourth of July. They might have some. Well, right? tomorrow they'll have some. Yeah. Out there. Okay. In and Labor Day. Fireman badge. But why ain't it used? Like, I mean, I don't. I don't know. I mean, band, when bands come and want to use it, they let them use it. This place has got so many good bands in it. Yeah. That they've, I even suggested, and they, even all the bands agreed, Battle of the Bands. Nowhere else is it being done. Yeah. And Saltville can have the first and only Saltville Battle of the Bands to bring people in. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm just, there is good ideas. Now, what, why I do what I do? I grew up here in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and on, onward, right? Yeah. I was graduated over here at high school. Right. Was born down the valley. Hey. Was born down the valley. All right. I'm all right. And uh, I grew up when this town was, it wasn't the, it wasn't a factory, it wasn't no one. Yeah. It was that people came here because they, they just loved it. Yeah. Chill Howie, there was nothing, laid nothing. Everybody came here. Yeah. And the weekends, it was just, and another thing that was going on, yeah. And another thing that was going on at that time yeah. was an activity director. You know what he did? He made activities. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's the one, the big one was he scheduled uh, adult softball leagues every weekend. Yeah, yeah. They used to do some of that in town. And the whole parking lot was lined with people. Yeah. Right. The activity director did it and coordinated it. Anybody that had the people show up, they'd be out there at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know, and they would shop here just in the town. Yeah. So that's why I do what I do, because I know my generation here the last 15 years has failed this town. Yeah. And it's time for a new generation like Ryan Comer right. to try their hand at it. Yeah. The people in, that are sitting on the council, they're my age. We had our chance and we, we failed it. Yeah. To give the younger people to sit on that council that grew up here and yeah. know what it's like when a kid with teenagers say, well, you want to go do something? Sure. Well, there's nothing to do in Saltville, so they go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's why I'm trying to do what I do. Not against police guys. I mean, the code enforcer, I have a problem with. Okay. And the reason I have a problem with him is because that job should have went to an athletic, a director to yeah. bring people into town. Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. I understand. And there's another reason, but, I mean, it wasn't you, but what started it all was my son was pulled over five days in a row at the high school by the Saltville police okay. for no reason. Well, the next day I showed up, and I had my son leave, and I towed that cop. 
in fact, see him. It's personal. Yeah. Well, about two months later, here at the Walgreens, a Saltville cop had my 16-year-old daughter in the front seat of his car, and he told her, you tell me who's selling drugs, or I'm going to arrest your boyfriend. Okay, that didn't beat it all, right? Okay. So I was sitting down in the parking lot on my Harley, yeah. and a cop comes up, grabs by the shoulder, and he looks at me and says, why didn't you tell me you have a gun? I said, do you know he is behind me? Yeah. Took my gun, took me in the police department. Okay. Told me they was going to take my concealed permit, right. and they was going to, that I need to leave town and never return. I mean, I, that's I, what I, I went through personally. Well, see, I, I don't know. Who was it? Do you know? It was Chief, when Chief Hall was here. I can see that. Hell, I was in middle school. Now, uh, Puckett, he's a good guy. Puckett is a good guy. He's a good guy. Our, all the guys down here are pretty decent guys. I just I mean, can't get over them. what I went through, right? Yeah. And I, that's why I try to make sure that nobody else goes through that. Well, yeah, I mean, nobody should. I mean, uh, if it happened to you and your kids, oh, how yeah, would you I mean, feel? I'd be, I'd be ill, too. But. I waited for them to leave right. so they wouldn't be at home. And that's when I started doing yeah. videos, trying to do what I can for the town. Yeah. If you can please pass on to the council members, please think twice about what they're doing with that code enforcement. Because anybody can send them a certified letter. Yeah. And once they get that, if it ain't cleaned up, take them to court. Yeah. But take that code enforcer out, sell that car, and hire an activity director and build a dog park. I've been trying for four years. A dog park, I don't even know. Where would you put the dog yeah, right park? Across from you, the, right across from the softball field, you'll see that light in the new parking lot. Yeah, There's like a over there gigantic the grass field right there. Right near the ponds? Yep. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad spot for it. There's lights. Yeah. Everybody owns pets. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And a little putting place where you bring out your own equipment, you and yeah. your girlfriend, whatever. Yeah. And they promised they would replace our tennis courts when they tore them down. Oh, that's been years. Now. Yeah, it was like 15 years ago. I was young, young when that was out there. But they promised to replace them. They still have it. Do you like tennis? I've never played. But, I mean. I've got whooped on it before, but. Uh, I've got my butt whooped on it before. I mean, but, I probably would too. But it's an activity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I um, agree. But it seems like more things are being torn down than they're being built. Yeah. Like those shelters. Why did they tear them down? Shelters. The shelter up at the pond with the chimney. Oh, I noticed I it know, had one like, bad spot on the corner. Was that? That's I it. don't know. That's it. The only thing that I thought maybe it was just old and like not yeah. safe. No, it was perfect. Know. It was perfect, except for one little spot yeah. had to be replaced. Yeah. And then they tore down the other shelter across the pond. Yeah. Instead of fixing the road and doing that. Yeah. See, that's people. People can use it. Yeah. That's what I. I, mean, I yeah, I get what you're saying. I mean, I probably won't be here long. But I'm gonna fight for what I can to get the town back. My grandfather moved here in uh, 1901, oh, yeah. and my aunt owned the five and ten, Ben Franklin. He was probably not born then, but uh, yeah. she owned that. That's how my family is rooted here. Right. And well, before I leave, I would like to try to do something. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna go address the town council, probably next meeting. Yeah. Um, so far, you've been pretty. Cool, so. I mean, I'm pretty easy. To you're, help, you're helping me get over the anxiety that I went through with the rest of them. Well, you know, he, I, I, I don't think you have to worry about anything like that with this department. Especially me. I, me, I, I can't. I'm pretty chill. I'm it's hard to judge somebody when they dress the same. Right? Uh, I, I don't see. I, I don't understand what you're saying because I've not been in your shoes. So I don't understand. Yeah. I've never had. A lot of people probably have. But, I mean. If a car, if you're driving, you, before you get in car, you're driving down the highway, a cop's behind you, you're nervous. Oh, hell, you're scared. I'm, yeah, I mean, like, I get nervous too sometimes, and I'm a cop. Uh, and I'm in my personal I mean, car, I've been know? thinking about that a lot. You know how you get pulled over and they charge you for speeding? Yeah. Why do they want your money? Why don't they say you're going to do two weeks of community service because you went over the speed limit? Second time, you're going to do two months of community service. They, I've never had anybody get community service for a speeding ticket. But instead of charging them money, make them do that. You know? I don't know. You, I mean. Right now, gas is high, food's high. I mean, yeah, it, it is. I, I mean, That's how does that hate, help taking their money? When you put them out here cleaning up garbage for a month because yeah. they were speeding, they'll think about it. That's something for legislation. That's not yeah, for, yeah. you know, the, Police what I what I think will help this town: legalize gambling. 
Hey, I mean, it is legal. I guess the town has to do it. You mean, thought, you mean we could do that? Well, in Virginia's laws, they, gambling's legal in Virginia. Is it? Well, they got the casino in Bristol. It's Bristol, Virginia casino. Go and, go and half. Huh? Don't go in half. Uh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Man, I, I ain't got checks. enough money to get going, man. Bro. What they talk, Jeff Campbell. He's Jeff rich. Campbell. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I thought a good thing for the town, since we're talking about good stuff for the town, would be yeah. like a pool hall with like a We had a bunch of them. We like had that. a bunch of them. When you know, they took the Walgreens down, I got to thinking this would be great for like yeah. a Texas Hold'em, pool table. Oh, yeah, I'd love to have something like that go on. I, wonder how I love playing cards. What if the town would try to bring that in? Think of the think of the people coming into town. Yeah, we'd I mean, have to build a hotel. Go, a lot of people drive all the way to Bristol and go to Billy's. But think of we'd have to build a hotel. I mean, maybe if you had that many people. Uh, so I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of things I'd like to see happen. I that, think another good idea where they cut all this logging down. Yeah, you know, they, 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 they the use trees. that money to pay for the wave pool. Oh yeah, but you cut all the trees down, and mm-hmm. you can put uh side by side trails in through there like uh, St. Paul does and Grundy and all that. That'd be, nobody uses that lookout. That'd be something to use the lookout for. I mean, I don't know about, you could just put off People, people that are listening from Saltville, leave comments of things that you believe will help the town of Saltville. Because most of you grew up here like I did. You might have great ideas. Um, the council does uh, meetings and puts them on YouTube. You, yeah, they're, YouTube, they're, they're, yeah, they're but they're using a camera from 1971. Yeah, and and you can't hear cam- them. I don't know if it's the camera. Or the, they're using the, a laptop. Oh, okay. So I what, don't know if it was the internet service making no, it all no. crazy. No, no, they need to get a good camera. Yeah, and that, and they have their comments turned off. Oh, really? So people they can't hear from the people. Yeah. If they can hear from the people, they'll get more suggestions. I was, I Nobody wonder, knows everything. Sometimes I think maybe they do that because and this is just an idea. Yet, if you're going to have a live stream going like that, yeah. well, you it's need not somebody. live. They don't do it live. Oh, oh. Okay. They, they'll do it and then they'll post it like three days uh, later. I was going to say, if they, you had somebody on there like spamming, Cuss, like, like yeah, yeah, bad words. Or yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't, they two or three days. Yeah. But in like all of my videos, you can comment on, you could say, I'm a butthole or whatever, or you could say, I agree, we need to do this or that. Yeah. But with their meetings, their comments are all turned off. Yeah. You know, somebody might bring up, can you, can we do a, a pool hall? Yeah. Uh, what will it take? Would you, would the town help me get started? Yeah. Uh, we just need a, I mean, you just need a building. Yeah. Somebody willing to put some money into it. Gambling. Now, I don't know. I know that it's legal in Virginia, right? Because the rest of the casino. Would I have to go through the town? I don't know how that would work because I'm not really sad. You know, You're going to have to help me with that one. Yeah. I mean, if you get it going, if you open one up, I'll come play. Well, I definitely. It was a pleasure meeting you. Hey, man, it's all good. If you need anything, holler at me. All right? Just the uniform here? scares me. It sends be, me back to them days. I don't be scared. Of, I mean, I'm pretty chill. I mean, uh, I also appreciate you over here on my stop. Not huh? coming up, when I was had that car stop. Oh, I wasn't going to do that. Yeah, I appreciate you not coming up and like no, interfering no. with it. No, I don't do that. People are called odd. I'm not an auditor. Yeah. Come on, give me a break. I, if you look at my videos, I've got some great ones of the falls. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I mean, I've seen auditors and all that, and they'll get right up to somebody's face. And yeah. It's, it's, you don't so, do I watch some of it, too. And yeah, they, you don't do that. Yeah. Um, you get... But uh, anyway, that, that was good talking with you, and I hope that you can pass the word along to everybody else that one person can't make a change. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it takes and, a lot of people. But, I, mean, I mean, I'm going to go to the next meeting and suggest a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. But I'm not sure about how they want to spend their money. But I do think changing that code enforcer out for an activity director yeah. that will schedule all kinds of things, activities. Yeah. And one of them you don't see anymore is soapbox duties. And that's all the you what? have to do. Soapbox derby. Soap soap, soap box derby. There it is. What is that? Soap that's where the kids and the grandfather and fathers make those little carts with the wheels and no motors and they go down a hill. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't yeah. know where you do that, though. Any hill. You just close off the hill. And the families work on it, you know. Yeah. But I mean, I just. Um, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. But we had dodgeball. Uh, even the police department came in. They had their team. Oh, I I love at the high it. school, wasn't it? Was that at the high school? I nailed one right in the freaking head. I, yeah. 
I think uh-huh. I remember that. That was a. Uh, was you on their team? Or no, you? no, that was. I was young then. Uh-huh. So I think that was a pot. Was it at the high school? Yeah, yeah. I remember being there watching it. I was yeah. a kid. Cause oh. I'm, on, I'm on 25. Yeah, I had my son on the team. He was like a. He got college scholarships for all kinds of athletic yeah. stuff. I would just throw him the ball, mm-hmm. and I'd keep running around. He was nailing people. Yeah. That seems like something that would be a good idea. That would be a good idea. But uh, that's what an activity director does. You know? yeah. And you know how much it costs for a trophy? For About a trophy. five bucks. Yeah, cheap. Five bucks. Yeah. I mean, if we did that, I'd try to get the police department to do it. And, well, they did it last time. Yeah. They had a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, I mean everybody was trying to hit them. I guarantee I you that. Oh, yeah. I guarantee somebody there. I'm trying to nail me. <laughs> yeah, they're finally getting to hit somebody, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, I got I, I got hit through my... Oh, my fingers got cut off, but yeah. this one here, it got bent completely backwards from the ball oh, hitting yeah, it. Hurts on it. I had to go and have somebody. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. it was awful. Yeah. But, uh, that's why I'm thinking activity is right. Yeah. Because they could schedule that. You like basketball? I, I'm not big on basketball, but I can watch it. But the big, the big thing is those softball tournaments. Because on the weekends, this place is covered. Yeah. Because there's so many people playing softball. Yeah. And you can make your own team. Police could have their own team. Yeah, get the county to come over to anybody. I mean, that, that filled this town out on the weekends. Oh yeah, I, I agree, guys. I mean, like think about when the tournaments are over here. How many people are in town? Yeah, yeah. yeah and then that brings business to yeah. people eating, like the Chinese yeah. restaurant, coaches, everything. I mean, it's just. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Okay, well, you'd be good. It was nice talking hey, to it's you. Nice talking to you. If you get a chance, though, see if you can talk to somebody about. Yeah. Getting an athletic director. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll mention it to them. Okay. Uh, I mean, you know how much good it'll do. Yeah. I mean, it's got potential. Maybe we'll get your pool hall. Yeah, I, I love that. I, love that. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm pretty good at the pool. I mean, I get whooped. I'm not very good at it, but I like trying. I, I can make the ball spin backwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but well, I missed I miss the ball that I'm going for, but I can make the white one go backwards. Well, they open her up. We'll, we'll play a game, right? Uh, that'll work. Show me how to play. I'm not uh, sure. I don't know if it'll be that way, but it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. You'll be good. If you need anything, holler, man. All right. Just see what you can do about helping with that. All right? All right. Build the town. Yeah, well, that's what we're I mean, that's, we that's, that's, That'll be our slogan. Build the town. Build the town. That's yeah. all we'll do again. Hey, I like that. Yeah. All right. You take all care. Right. All right. That went pretty good. Got to talk a little bit. Maybe it'll help. Maybe not. But we'll see, and we'll talk to you all later.